Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020-2021 Panini Prison Basketball 3 box. Pick your team number 20. Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting into the action. Now I have to apologize to everyone here on this list because I was a total space cadet and in one of our select breaks, select football, I started ripping open prison basketball like a crazy person. So I ended up marking all of these pick your team 20 so that they weren't, you know, no, there's no funny business, nothing was being replaced. I accidentally opened up some packs, put them into here, marked all of that so you know that it's all from the same thing. I, I ran that video earlier. There it is. Look at me, just totally space cadetting right here. I don't know, maybe I was chit-chatting with somebody. I don't know what, what was going on. I just... I was just on autopilot and just started ripping these open. And then someone, people were like, Joe, you're, you're being crazy. You're dumb. I was like, I am a dumb. Unbelievable. So in this video, I marked all of those pick your team 20. So so everything's on the up and up. Right there. Blah, 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 blah. There it is. All right, so there you go. So everything fully transparent here at Jazby's, even when we screw things up. It happens. We're human. I'm not a cyborg. That's just how it goes. So there's that. So now you can see that these weren't tampered with because I, I drew, did the did the lines right over the right over the flap. So there's where I don't know. I don't know if I had, I don't know if I had my V8. <laughs> yeah, I guess a cyborg would say that they're not a cyborg. All right, so you can see all those right there. All right, and I think we have more prism. I'm going to double check after this break and then I'll, uh, if we do have more, I'll, I'll post another three box break, which will be from a fresh case. This is the final three boxes of that case we po uh, that we posted sometime last weekend, not, not too long ago. We've been moving through these fairly swiftly. So thanks everyone for making all of these breaks happen. No, I'm not a cyborg, absolutely not. No way. <laughs> That's right, Sam. Jam myself up. At a 175, New Orleans Noel. Remember in the picker teams, all cards ship. That's for OKC, Dan, that one. Got a Peyton Pritchard here. At what point, at what point would you not let a cyborg play in the NBA? Like how much human do you have to be to play in the NBA? I feel like in 60 years, that's what we're gonna be trying to figure out. Like if Mo Bamba gets like his, his right arm replaced by a cyborg arm, giving him much better accuracy in shooting, is that allowed? When do we stop? 25%? You have to be 75% human? What if Luka Doncic Jr. has like a bionic knee? That will most likely extend his career another 5, 10 years. Is that is that okay? Or will there, there, we're going to have to think about these rules. There's Jalen Smith, Rookie Hyper, and Mitchell Robinson Mojo to 25. Or will there be a separate Cyborg League? But, I mean, that, that seems, seems not inclusive. I don't know, but maybe that's how it's going to have to be.
there's Jamal Murray to 299. Poor Jamal Murray. And there's rookie auto Cole Anthony. Jamal Murray did his ACL. If only he was a cyborg. Houston, <laughs> I'm just trying to look out for for uh, for cyborg rights in a hundred years. Not that I'll be around in a hundred years, because obviously I'm not a cyborg. Jamal Murray for Denver. Adam Kelly with that one. There's Anthony Edwards. Silver Oladipo. Red Wave Cassius Winston for Washington. Correct, Austin. Yes. Your grandmother won't be able to play in the NBA because she has two metal hips and knees. That That is, I mean, there may be some anti-cyborg things that we'll have to deal with. In like 60 years. I don't know. Technology grows exponentially, right? So 50, 60 years maybe. We'll start to see that. Silver Tyrese Halliburton. Nice. Charles. Got the Kings. Nice. Yeah, pretty good looking card. DJ Augustine. Elijah Hughes. Dennis Schroeder. Jeremy, you're saying Larry Johnson was able to play? Are you suggesting that he he was a cyborg? But he he was like, I mean, there's no proof of that. He could he could be. There's Eric Gordon, and that reveals a Jason Tatum autograph. Nice, Adam Kelly, Boston Celtics, last spot in Mojo strikes again. Tom Brady's probably a cyborg. Vince Carter had to had to retire. Vince Carter had to retire because he was a cyborg. If he kept playing, people would have figured it out. They're like, mm, how is he still playing? He must be must have cyborg parts inside him. There's Giannis, Jade McDaniel's hyper, Enos Cantor. Oh yeah, well he, Larry Johnson was a grandma that could play. We're talking about cyborgs though. Right. See, just because there's there's still there's still uh, cyborg discrimination out there, Larry Fitzgerald will probably have to retire because if he plays for another ten years, you know, then people would be like, hmm, let's look inside you. What kind of mechanical parts are there? I don't know if Steph Curry is a cyborg. He gets injured too much, or maybe maybe he's just trying to let people know he's not a cyborg by being injured. Maybe those ankle injuries are him just getting like a new bionic ankle. How advanced is cyborg technology? Is Yarmir Yager still playing hockey? He's probably a cyborg. Isn't he like 50 years old? Cyborg. Yeah, I guess so. Yes, cyborgs do need servicing from time to. Yeah, Yarmir Yager's forty nine years old and he's playing on like a, a Czech team right now. You know, yeah. So he he's definitely a cyborg, you know. And no one's gonna. No one's gonna pay attention to, to Yager being a cyborg out in the Czech Republic. Sean Jaffe saying Herschel Walker's for sure a cyborg. Just Google image Herschel Walker 2021. Could be a cyborg. 
just using, using advanced medical technology and bionic parts to keep them going. Hayes, Tyler Bay, Giannis, Alfred Payton, Red Wave, and a Magic Johnson Blue to 199 for my Lakers. Keel Kessler with the Lake Show. Inside Out Media, you bought two packs like 10 minutes ago. You're Marcos. I th I'm thinking you're in the wrong place, Marcos. We don't do packs here. You're probably thinking of the Instagram Live channel, at Jaspies Rakes on Instagram. There's not LaMelo. And Jane McDaniel to 175. And there's Zach Collins, Portland Trailblazers. Yeah, here on the YouTube channel, we only do group breaks here. I've probably been waiting a while. Why is he not doing my packs? Portland, that'll be for John and the Trailblazers. Matthew Shearer with the Jaden McDaniels at Anthony. Didn't we have an Anthony Edwards earlier, too? Or no, that was Tyrese Halliburton, but we're looking for Anthony Edwards for you. Wait, group breaks? You can't buy packs here. You must mean you must mean you bought spots in something ten minutes ago. So thank you. Whenever that sells out, we'll do it. Then you're in the right place if it's group breaks. And if you're wondering when it's going to happen, you can always check the schedule that's pinned in the chat. A silver Obi Toppin, nice, and a purple Kenyon Martin. Kenyon Martin Jr. Now Martin is this, is this pops. So this goes to Mark and the Rockets. And here's the Obi Toppin for the Knicks. Brian White with New York. And we've got Mitchell Robinson. And DeAnthony Melton, 28 out of 49 orange for the Grizzlies. Tau with that one. Not LaMelo. Royce O'Neal and Sadiq Bay Hyper Parallel. Sticking together already? Draymond, Dirt, there's Wes Matthews, red to 299. And there's Cassia Stanley. It's true, Jeremy33. Sometimes, though, those base cards could go for a lot. Dylan with the Pacers. Emmanuel quickly. Kuzma, Bertans, Vernon Carey, Cole Anthony, Karis Levert Silver, Giannis Antetokounmpo Fireworks Silver, and Kevin Durant in the back right there. Cole Anthony going to Orlando and Adam. All right, final box, third and final box. This is pick your team 20. We've done a lot of these. Thank you, everybody. All right, 
Good luck, everybody. Uh, I'll double check to see if we have any more of this uh, prism. I think we do. But I'll double check and we'll post another PYT. Yeah, that Herber was nice, right? Hopefully we'll be able to do a few more NT breaks by the time all is said and done. And don't worry about running out of time, ladies and gentlemen. We do have Sean for late night Wednesday and Friday this week. So tonight and Friday. So take advantage of, of that. So keep your spots keep your spots going on jazbeescasebreaks.com. And always mind the schedule that's pinned in the chat. That schedule will tell you when your break is coming up whenever it sells out. Only sold out breaks end up on that schedule. We don't schedule things in advance. There's a Peyton Pritchard Red Wave or Red Shimmer, I think is what they call them. You think, uh, so poor, poor Jamal Murray does his ACL. Does that increase Zeke Naji's stock? Maybe he gets more minutes. Maybe more of the offense goes through Michael Porter Jr., which could be more points for him. Could be some silver linings there for Denver. There's Peyton Pritchard silver for Adam and the Celtics. back of this card felt weird. I was just, there's just a little extra dust on there. All right, so just mind that extra dust on the back of that, Adam. Yeah, I think that LeBron card, that LeBron base card, is really sharp. That little Kobe Bryant dunk tribute. I remember when he did that. I think I was we were watching the game on TV. A couple not lamellos here. Chris Middleton hyper. Even we'll run into one of those LeBron cards here. Second year, John Morant, Red Wave. I think those LeBron silvers could go for could go for a lot. Even the base cards, I still think sell for about a hundred bucks. But when it hits that silver level, it does it does really well. And parallels, of course. PJ Washington to 175 on our YouTube channel, Inside Out. After every break, we immediately upload the video. So if you subscribe on uh, on YouTube to our channel, you'll never miss a moment. Silver Giannis. Nice, there you go. That's not too bad. For all of those Giannis is going to Michael B and the Bucks. Shabazz Napier. Got a orange Anthony Davis. Supposed to be back some you know couple weeks maybe, a little bit less than that, I hope. Goes to Kessler and the Lakers. There's Eric Pascal and behind him a redemption. To 125. What any guesses on that redemption for bragging rights? What up, Rex? Yeah, I'm having a good day. So far so good. Xavier Tillman, rookie. Rookie Red Shimmer. And then behind Red PJ Washington is going to be Kai Bowman. Kai Bowman for John and the Warriors. Warriors, come out to play.
That's the two ninety nine. Jeremy's guessing. Uh, Jeremy thirty three is guessing Charles Barkley. Obi Toppin. Cole Anthony Hyper. Devontae Graham, LeBron, George Hill, Doug McDermott, and there you go. The last card here is that LeBron we were talking about. <laughs> Patty Mills redemption? I don't know if Patty Mills would be a, Would he be a redemption in here? Dirk Nowitzki, maybe? Jordan Poole? Guessing Rex? All right, it's gonna be, it's gonna be LaMelo Ball. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Notorious non-signer. There you go, so that will be for John Deneen and the Charlotte Hornets. Not a single LaMelo base card, but I think the auto will do okay for you. Oh, Patty Mills is a redemption in 2020, 2020. LaMelo though, is what I've generally seen. So there you go. Whoa! And look at that. Rookie Signature Prism Silver. Or are they all are the autos all silvers? Maybe they are. Still nice. There you go. John bought the Hornet straight up in this break, rewarded in the very last three boxes of this particular case. That was Picker Team 20. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break.